What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. As you all know, Hershey Park had an absolutely terrible week and I wanted to post a video on this. I know I've been posting a Skyrish shorts on that mini series and stuff, but Hershey Park as a whole has had a terrible week in the past two weeks or so. And I wanted to make a video about it, and I thought the most efficient way of doing that would be making a podcast. Anyway, I did it with Grant, who is Hershey Park enthusiast, myself, and my cousin Josie, who was there when Skyrish had its accident. And today we are going to talk about all the horrible stuff that happened to Hershey Park in the last week, along with exposing Hershey Park for new rides. And we're just going to talk about stuff and talk about life. So yeah, I hope you guys all enjoy today's video. Please go subscribe to everybody on this podcast. Links for Instagram and YouTube channels will be in the description. And yeah, enjoy. Um, so to give a little bit of background, this podcast kind of starts out just like it just starts out. Anyway, my camera froze while we were trying to get Grant admitted onto the Zoom call. And and then it unfroze. It's a little hectic, but there is an official intro. Anyway, if you look at the YouTube, the little red bar uh, that shows you, you know, the timeline, you can uh, go to any part of the podcast that you want. If you want to hear things, you don't have to actually listen to the entire thing. There will be another video on Wednesday explaining the entire full story of Skyrush. Uh, as Hershey Park posts more stuff about it, I know we don't know the full story. I will make a speculation video and try and give you guys my best guess. So subscribe for that. Uh, yeah, and enjoy the podcast. I'm going to shut up. Here you go, guys. Why is it frozen like that? It, can it not be frozen anymore? Oh, okay. Grant. All right. Awesome. Oh, sweet. It, it unfroze. Thank God. Hola. Hello. How's it going? Good. How are you? <laughs> Good. Pretty right. good, can't complain. Just hanging out in my storm under shirt here. Nice. All good. One intimate open. Uh, Fahrenheit went down again today. Did you see that? Yeah, I saw that on the app. They were stuck. Do you know why it went down? What went down? Do you know why it went down? Because no. I, I know. Okay. It That thing has been down literally like half of the season. I don't know why. Like It's been one cause and it's been down. It's been down for one reason and then the next reason it's just i don't understand it i don't understand it like, well apparently somebody tried telling me the drive tire didn't blow up or something like that but Joe's yeah i heard didn't you say I it, heard. That it blew up or something that's what i was told yeah, i that's heard what that's told. what i heard i yeah i, I heard that <sighs> so this is like a podcast style video um awesome all right all right so anyway i'm rude uh this is my cousin josie no, you're um, good. Yeah, so Hi. she was there Friday Hello. when the accident yeah. happened, like, I don't know, like, 50 hours ago now. Um, okay. But, like, it's been interesting because this past week, which was the worst week right. for Hershey Park, um, was the yeah. most week that I've had coverage on. Like, I had somebody there, or I was there every single day this week, which was great. Nice. Um, and I think I must say that Skyrish's best day was probably, like, Tuesday, I think. Because Monday, it opened late. Mm -hmm. Tuesday, it broke down once. Wednesday, the cable lift malfunctioned and closed for the second half of the day. Right. Thursday, it was back open but then closed. And then Friday, we all know what happened. Right, yeah. I think it is a – you can put this in the podcast. My theory on Skyrush is it is a prolonging issue. I think there is something with either the catch car or the motor. Um, while we do have confirmed reports that it wasn't the cable that snapped, it's most likely something to do – with the catch car or the motor well it, we don't know anything though for certain for speculation mm -hmm. yeah joe so. you were there what did you what did you see what did you on friday well we were just get, we were walking to go on sky rush before like we went on cannamonium before we left because we knew it was gonna rain yeah yeah and i just looked i saw a ton of people with their phones up in the sky and i was like what is going on <laughs> and i looked over and i was like oh my god there's like I know. people getting strapped yeah. to the side of the ride and i was like what is going on it was yeah weird. i don't know what is up with skyrush um yeah let's um fahrenheit let's mention that like i don't know what exactly is up with that either because like that's been on and off this whole week too it's probably i mean i don't know if you guys remember it was closed earlier this season um for lift hill issues like it kept getting mm -hmm. stuck on the lift yeah that's what happened today mm -hmm. it, yeah i mean honestly it could just be service issues and my whole theory in all of this is why all these accidents and issues are happening is just because of maintenance 
due to understaffing. Mm-hmm. And that's just my personal opinion. Like, I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not certain nothing's set in stone, but that that's my personal. And I'm not trying to shift blame on maintenance yeah. people. But I think that also uh, the amount of downtime they had last year and – uh, granted that we we've had a pretty bad winter compared to like the last I don't know three or four years. That is true. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, that I is very know. true. I think I think like um, sitting and like I know they were open for like two and a half, one and a half months last year for COVID, but I don't I don't think that really I think that played a bigger part in it. That probably did, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, like all my footage got supplied by Josie. You were absolutely blowing up my phone, uh, <laughs> and. Uh, what else were we going to talk about? You said that uh, you said that you have like an inside source of somebody who's with Hershey Park Josie, and they were talking about new rides. Yeah. Oh, anyway, she's a GP, so this this might get a little rough. Oh, Sorry, okay. Josie. <laughs> but what were Wait, we? Wait. Do we have inside? Explain everything that you told me uh, on the phone when you were blowing up my phone on Friday. Oh wait, wait. We have inside news on a new ride. On probably possibly multiple. Oh. Okay, this is the first for anyone that, listening to this podcast. This is the first I've ever heard of this. So yeah, no, like, I didn't, I didn't tell uh, Grant or anything about this. So this is um, insane. This is, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Josie. lay it on me. <laughs> Josie. Keep it. Is it is Flying okay. Falcon returning? Sorry. Is... Um. Okay. Some no. of her, uh, Josie, describe what you were told because this is this might get a little rough, but she makes fun. Of I did me, hear. I, tell her all the I will say terms. this. I got a rumble from a ride operator, and I'm not, I can't disclose too much. Yeah. But I was talking, I was hanging out with some of my friends over by, um, well, Stormunner was closed for a little bit. We were waiting for it to reopen. And I was hanging out with some of my friends. We were talking about feature Wildcat, RMC, GCI, all that stuff. And we were, I was mentioning it's never going to get RMC'd, and the ride up goes, don't be so sure about that. Well, Joseph, well, he did like not to say what you well, said. Well, he did not proceed to tell me any more about rmc wildcat he did not he did let me know that i wouldn't be that i shouldn't be so sure about that indicating that there might be more of a chance for rmc wildcat than all of us originally thought yeah sorry you go what did you describe um i was told that they're tearing the whole ride down and building another one that's gonna go upside down another but it's like so what upside down so, Wait, yeah. what? So by uh, who? I think that's her way of saying uh, GCI might like we could take that a few ways. Cause, again, this is a GP okay. side, Josie, but uh, we could say uh, maybe RMC like tearing off wooden track or um, right. I want to personally. I I don't like Wildcat, but I think that if they uh, did something like Ghost Rider, I think maybe she's thinking in that way. Like. I, I could see. If, I don't know yeah. if it has like a twentieth anniversary or like twenty fifth anniversary or something coming mm-hmm. up, but I think that could work out really well if they did like, um, you know. Well, fun fact: this is actually, I believe this is Wildcat's twenty fifth anniversary because it opened in nineteen ninety six. So yeah. yeah. So if they shut Wildcat it down at the end of the season, we could see. But also, mm-hmm. that doesn't make too much sense, COVID wise. I I say three to five years before we see anything done with like revamping Wildcat, but I could totally right. be wrong. At the earliest 2023, at the earliest. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, we can take that a bunch of different ways. Um, and for anyone listening to this, this is not set in stone. This is just mm-hmm. us speculating. Um, yeah, so if they are tearing down, that is very vague, tearing down, because that could mean, that could mean RMC. wiping it out completely. That could be reprofiling <laughs> it. That could mean That's... RMCing it. That could eyeing it that could mean gravity grouping it we we don't know that um is probably the yeah. best answer that you could have gotten because that could leave that doesn't take any right. manufacturer out of the picture uh personally i want to see rmc redo it i don't i Same. Like, i yeah. like i like gci but i think that wildcat mm-hmm. was their first coaster and we all see how that turned out so if they uh want to yeah. gci titan track that it could also turn out um, right same way so <laughs> no I ag- I agree with you. To be yeah. honest, I <laughs> I agree with you. Um, we all know Hershey Park. Um, like we know with Skyrush, they stopped working with Intamin. Pretty mm-hmm. not officially stopped working yeah. with Intamin, but Skyrush they definitely distanced themselves pretty far away from yeah. Intamin. Now I'm not saying it's not possible for them to eventually get maybe a uh, Blitz coaster in the future, but um, more on that later. 
Um, but yeah, we see how Hershey Park, if something doesn't succeed so well or age so well, we see how they go with something else. Yeah. So Skyrush didn't, was a flop for them, so they did Candemonium. So Wildcat is essentially a flop for Hershey Park, technically, because it did not age well. But the reason so why we could, I think yeah. uh, we could be wrong about that is because they did go back to GCI for Lightning Racer, which is basically... That is true. Coasters, However... That was a major, major success. Even though it doesn't see, like, popular, right. like, long, long lines, it's still... In the eyes of a coaster enthusiast and any kid who's it ever is, ridden Lightning Racer... It's a um, success. It's a success, and that's why I don't want right. to uh, RMC that uh, or even but, touch that. Mm -hmm. But I, I do agree with you, and I totally get what you're saying. Um, but my only thing with that is Wildcat was built in 96 and Lightning Racer in 2000, so that's mm -hmm. only a four-year difference. Yeah, Wildcat was smooth for those four years, and Wildcat was a big success for those four years. Mm -hmm. By the year 2000, Wildcat was smooth, everyone was liking it, and it was, like, it was a crowd pleaser. People liked it. Mm -hmm. But now it's just it has gotten rough and i think hershey definitely knows it's rough because we did see them retrack it last year we we see hershey actively retracking wooden coasters it's happened like all co all of the wooden coasters have been somewhat retracked partially within In, the, like, last the last two 10 seasons. years yeah um, right so even the last two seasons yeah especially for wildcat is that case i know they retract the bottom half of the drop and into that uh first uh, got off right. turn i'm sorry <laughs> it, but yeah, it, no it's horrible um, it, it is bad it, it just hasn't helped i mean i i've ridden it um i've ridden it twice this season i have no desire to ride it again maybe front <laughs> row but like it, it just back row is actually better. back row is actually not bad yeah i middle and front um are, are interesting for me yeah, I'm just I'm not a fan of that when I can go to Lightning Racer and get a more pleasant feel for like a wood. And it's the ride. same wait time, so like, mm -hmm. so like, yeah. So RMC Wildcat might not be as far fetched as we think. Mm -mm. And I think, oh my gosh, I'm gonna make a. For anyone watching this podcast, stay tuned on my channel. I might make a video. I might make a video on that. So just mm -hmm. just keep your eyes peeled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to. I I think. I don't know. I want to. Um, I said this in my like, what's next for Hershey Park video almost a year ago, but I want to go more in depth into everything that I said. Right. Um. But yeah, uh, we can come back to this. Moving on, uh, Josie. What else did he tell you yeah. might be coming? Coaster. Um. <laughs> ooh, ooh, we have a coaster that's like hanging, like the track is above you, like so, Great Bear. So yeah. But a flyer. Get, like, Are we getting a be in a flyer? Like in the near, like. You, you, okay, so further, further away. Are we story, getting a B&M flyer? Uh, story, We're, Josie sent me a TikTok saying, have you been on this? It was Superman at Great Adventure. I go, yes, right. I've been on this. It's a flying coaster. She goes, I have a story to tell you. She said, this guy, uh, I'm not going to say his name like you said, uh, he said that Hershey Park was looking to, in getting one of these, um, you know, like, because, you know, they renewed their B&M uh, contract right. with... Candemonium, I think it was like three or four new coasters. Candemonium was one of them. Yeah. They have like two or three left. Um, but honestly, that hang on, this it makes this sense. confuses me because Great Bear was a one of two uh, B and M contract, and Candemonium I thought was the second coaster of that. But if they're renewing right. the contract with Great, uh, I mean B and M, would right. they, would they have like four new coasters or unless it's a three uh, coaster? I could see I that. Know. Right? Yeah, a flyer. I've heard a lot of people say. Hershey does not need another coaster below the track, or mm -hmm. it's too similar to Great Bear, but no. They're really two completely different ride experiences. So, like, that's going to be really good, and it's going to really, really... It's going to look... A, it's going to look great in the skyline, especially if it's next to Candemonium, and B, it's just going to really... It's going to be great. And I'd much rather a flyer over a dive coaster. Hate me, guys. I don't care. Oh, see, um, I have uh, controversial opinions or uh, contradicting opinions to that, but I'll let you keep going. No, you can. I, I'm done yeah. with my rant there. You can, you can See, keep. I always you can... thought. Um, I think that if they did like uh, something in the this the theme section of the park where uh, I mean Chocolate Town that theme section of the park. Right. Um, I thought always like a flyer would look cool if they did like a a, um, a Shambhala and what's the other coaster? There? Yes. Uh, like uh, at Port of Ventura, like a Shambhala. Right. And, um, I, I know what you mean. Of, uh, I can't. That, yeah, I don't know either. Coaster, I that sit down coaster there, like how it goes underneath the oh, lift. If they did that, right, oh, I don't know what it really is. Cool. Imagine, 
like a section of water near the entrance of the park and imagine a bank turn with like sort of like what we see with Manta at SeaWorld Orlando. Imagine just like imagine that like just at the by the entrance like near the Kisses Fountain. That would be gorgeous. Yeah. As you were gonna say, I'm sorry. <laughs> um I always thought for the Chocolate Town expansion, I would like like a intimate blitz kind of like cheetah hunt but again yes. above the tree line i think that would work the best there even like mm-hmm. not above a flyer or anything but what i was going to say about the dive coaster um the reason why i say a dive coaster a dive coaster and i said this in my video should replace yeah. title force and wild mouse you have a dive drop you know you do a drop um and then you go up to where wild mouse is and you kind of do like an immelman turnaround up there and then you come back down to where Tidal Force was and you keep going around those two areas. Dude. Yeah, no, you're actually right there. Um, I Especially if that layout takes place over the midway. A, that would look amazing. But, like, I actually see that because we were... All of us were saying, well, yeah, Tidal Force is, like, the perfect area for that, like, lift hill and um, drop. Mm-hmm. But everyone was like well that's not enough space for the rest of the layout you know but yeah, yeah like, call it like, i forgot wild mouse is on the market, on the market and exactly we know hershey is trying to get rid of it so um, i'm thinking like right you, you do like an airtime hill or like some kind of like break mm-hmm. break the like the bad chain of like drop dive drop immelman do like an airtime hill or massive yeah. zero g roll over like dispatch pizza go over to where wild mouse mm-hmm. is do so, like a unique dive coaster not break yes. break everything they've ever done before um and do that right like not maybe not like yeah not uh, by unique dive coaster yeah. we're not talking like the tallest or the fastest no. we're just talking in layout because we know hershey's coasters have unique layouts mm-hmm. um i think what would be a phenomenal layout um it would just look absolutely great over the mid midway there mm-hmm. is if after the drop there's a wave turn over the pathways mm-hmm. That and then, cool. like, I could almost see, like, a mini spaghetti bowl section, um, mm-hmm. like, somewhere featured in there, maybe around Wild Mouse's area. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, I, I just or, – or even a bank turn. Like, I know bank turns aren't exciting, but, like, that would definitely be like, theory, a yeah. nice change of pace. Right. Do, like, a nice like, splashdown, too, to honor, like, title for yes. somehow and get the guests wet. Like, that would be that would be cool. Mm-hmm. Right, because I I love seeing I love seeing everyone just line up for Title yeah. Force. Like I love seeing all the five year olds just like. <laughs> That's Yay! Like, I think that would have to happen in like the next like I would say f- five to ten years from now because Title Force's right. chain broke like a year and a half ago and they just got that replaced, which means they're not right. getting rid of it anytime soon. It's expensive, right? Yeah. yeah, chains are expensive. Mm-hmm. Like, like I mean, yes, they Hershey the has the money, but that. like. Yeah. They put the right, time yeah. to replace that, and uh, I think they're trying to preserve Title Force for as long as possible. Because I'm pretty sure that's I would agree with that. Kind. Right, because we know Hershey doesn't like to get rid of rides, which is yeah. a good thing. Mm-hmm. Except for Wild, or, except for Wild Mouse, like take that. Like, all right, mm-hmm. things I don't care if they get removed. Wild Mouse Sidewinder, take it away. I don't care. Oh, Jesus. Like, yeah. Bad. Josie's mad. <laughs> Josie's I'm, I'm like the only person that likes Sidewinder. I swear, really? everybody hates it. Okay, I all right. I don't hate it, um, but you know that's another thing I just thought of is they could also use that area of Sidewinder. I mean, I know, I mean Hershey can stack things on top. Like Hershey is the Hershey's king of st- stacking good. coasters, but like imagine if that dive coaster was just huge and it went all the way from like mm-hmm. Wild Mouse's area all the way over the midway all the way and then back over the title like the title pool over the boardwalk into the the side i don't know i know no guys i'm just i'm just i'm just i was just kind of kidding there there's no we all know hershey's crazy with stacking but there's absolutely no way that could happen that would be a lot of safety nets oh my goodness no half of the coaster would comprise of safety net like honestly Uh, yeah steel curtain the uh, curtain the entire ride is over the midway so like you try and look up and stuff and i mean you can see a good amount of the coaster but it's mostly safety nets yeah it is Mm -hmm. yeah safety nets look cool though i'm not gonna lie i don't know why (laughs) i don't know why guys like being in yes supported around Mm -hmm. the track in the v like I've never yeah. really, I haven't really ever minded it, that that much, and I don't know why. Yeah, like, honestly, on Candemonium, the break run and the bank turn into the final break run, guys, it just looks good. It like, does, yeah. 
Oh, something with those safety nets. It's just so visually pleasing, and I don't know why. I used to, like, I, I... I, I wouldn't say I have, like, I used to have, like, this type of OCD, but I used to, like, when things were symmetrical, so it, oh, I always hated yeah. when coasters didn't have stairs on both sides of the lift hill, or, like, oh, the safety yeah. nets, like, were, I, I don't know how to that describe bugs it, me. Like, off, sometimes that, like, screws with me a little bit. No, I, <laughs> I'm the same way, I was riding, I was over at Six Flags New England last Friday, I got all the credits, yeah, except for Goliath, because it's closed, it was great. That's awesome. Um, yeah, it was it was it was awesome. We were in the rain like the whole day. Um, both of my rides on Superman were like towards the back and in the pelting rain. It was so painful but so fun. I bet Wicked Twister um, was running good then. Oh, Wicked Cyclone was oh, Wicked Cyclone. great. Crap. No, you're good. Yeah, <laughs> no, you're good. W w Wicked Cyclone was hauling. It was great. That's good. Um, Third I still wasn't too bad. No, it was it wasn't bad. Um, I'd say I have Twisted Timbers over Wicked Cyclone in my overall. Um, I think, I think Wicked Cyclone is number four in my overall rankings, right, uh, right ahead of Skyrush. Back to topic. Um, yeah. One question I had for you guys, um, just kind of just as a fun, like, it's nothing like, it's kind of as a fun, just like, what's your opinion on this? Which Intamin could you see being either closed or torn down first? I mean, this wouldn't happen to like at least one of you. Okay, so Josie, your options are Fahrenheit. Sky Rush and Storm Runner. Don't say Storm Runner, because I will get mad. Wait, hang on. Can you tap your mic a few times? Wait, just just yeah. like talk louder than you were for a second. We can't. I can't hear you. I don't know. If, Hello. Yeah, now that's better. I don't okay, know if you cool. want to slowly take it away or something. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So your options for Intamins are Sky Rush, Storm Runner, and Fahrenheit. Please don't say Storm Matter because I'm very attached to that coaster, as we all know. Um, we are Storm Runner and I are married, so yes. yes. I totally yes. forgot to tell Josie about that. Yeah, no, yeah. We, we, you know, Storm Runner and I are experiencing a happy marriage. I just want to report um, on everything. We've literally not argued once. We are just, we are, well, we are like for created the, for each know, other. Um, the the tagline now get ready here we go that's a little delayed maybe you want to bring that up or something i don't know i'm not gonna you know <laughs> my wife she knew that that was delayed but she just wanted to open for everybody like she was just like okay i know that's something that could be fixed but I, people miss me i need to open and mm -hmm. she was right about that and like she she is amazing i i literally could not ask for a better wife and uh if you ever see a multi-launch coaster i'm the father anyway as we're as as uh here we're going um uh, which intamin I, <laughs> sorry about I, that you guys no <laughs> <laughs> which um, intamin could you see being closed first back on topic josie what would you say fahrenheit hmm. Be because it's always broken like i swear every year it gets broken mm -hmm. fair um i don't know that's interesting because fahrenheit has terrible capacity but it's also like Mm -hmm. The newer, this is gonna um, be weird, but it's like the, one of the newer last generation Intamins, if that makes sense. I would sense. agree with you. Yeah, no, that makes sense, dude. Um, I, I get it, yeah. I would um, almost have to say Skyrush. Yeah. Like, as much as I don't want to say that, and I think that, I think almost all of the Intamins in the park are on their last leg, and this guy was having another no! argument in my uh, comment section with another guy and i wasn't trying to pick sides but i kind of wanted to be a part of the conversation um yeah yeah i don't know if i can find this or not uh on my phone anyway uh i would i don't know so skyrush they, it had structural problems a few years back cable broke and so this is going to take a long time to replace and sky actually was, the cable er, the cable did happened. not snap Same, yeah we'll get into the meat of skyrush in a little bit but anyway yeah don't worry guys skyrush <laughs> The Skyrush stuff is coming. Just you, you, you just wait, guys. There's gonna be so you have that a lot of there. Skyrush stuff. Yeah, you have that entire yeah. problem there. Um, and then Storm Runner, uh, that cable we knew broke, but that's right. an accelerator. That's like a discontinued model, and there's only like one guy who uh, knows about all the accelerators and how to fix them or something like that. So that's what that is true. Long. Um, so I mm -hmm. think Storm Runner or Skyrush, kind of Fahrenheit. I don't no! know. No. He wants the dive coaster to be called Celsius. Um, 
Oh, yes. Like, okay. Yes. We all know that Pandemonium yes. was like a massive middle finger to Skyrush for being like a like a, a rip off. No, it like was. A terrible coaster. He, uh, so him and I here's the deal. The dive coaster is Canimo- gonna be a middle finger to um to Fahrenheit because it probably goes down and it's just gonna be called Celsius. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, all right. So it was Candemonium's birthday a couple days ago, and that was right when Skyrush's cable um was suspected to snap again. It didn't snap. We're gonna get into that. Yeah. But I think Skyrush just did that just to be annoyed. Like, you know what? You I'm know what? All the attention. I don't. I don't want this. Stupid brown hyper coaster over there to steal my thunder. You you can I'm I'm just gonna break. I can't yeah. I can't deal with it anymore. Bye guys. Yeah, but no, yeah, I know what you mean. I mean the but, entire like coaster community has fell, fallen apart like ride wise in the last like one and a half I know. weeks. Like mm, shivering Within, timbers collided. Right. Sky what rush, ha- yeah. El Toro. And mm-hmm. I, one of a tree fell on a Larson loop. I knew that. Yeah, at Six Flags New England, yeah. it fell on fire. Oh, oh, really? I didn't know it was at New England. Um, yeah, no, I was. We were actually gonna go that day that the yeah. tree fell on it. Um, we didn't go that day because it was closed for storm damage. Um, <laughs> yeah. AKA the tree falling Makes on sense. the Larson loop. Makes sense. Um, <laughs> yep. But um, yeah, so it was down. Um, it wasn't open when we went, obviously, because the tree had just fallen on it. And I mean, I was disappointed because I wanted to see how boring a Larson loop actually was. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I read my for my first SLC. Yeah, and you said it was decent and on Instagram. It was good. Yeah, no, Did it, it was actually. Yeah, that's why it was good. If it if it had old trains, it would be horrible. That's but it was actually was not so that good. bad. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, Great Bears a million times better, but like yeah. that, it oh, it yeah. was still not bad. So my personal my personal pick. For which Intamin would um, potentially be torn down first, um, I would say probably Fahrenheit or Skyrush, because Stormrunner. I know the cable snaps mm-hmm. and the accelerator model is discontinued, but prior to the new cable, it's in very good condition. Yeah, Stormrunner is in. I mean, obviously, I think so. Yeah. Um, she, yeah, she is aging very well. Like, um, I mean, obviously, I'm her husband. I would say that. Um, but yeah, Sky or uh, Stormrunner. When was the last time you really saw it go down for an extended period period of time uh, prior to the cable snap? Um, like, I don't know. Yeah, I can't. Like, I yeah, mean, it's pretty. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah, there are days it's mm-hmm. been down, but, like, for the most part, it's been probably the most reliable intimate at the park. Oh, for sure. Oh, um, my gosh, yeah. Yeah, it's built, and it's built over, so it's the most reliable intimate for one. Mm-hmm. It's built over everything, so tearing it down is not going to do any benefit to the park. So te- the only reason they would tear it down was would be if it was a maintenance nightmare. Mm-hmm. And that's not the case, because Stormwinter still gets fairly decent lines. Um, mm-hmm. And it's... It's not a maintenance hassle. I mean, yeah, it's a little rough this season because they're just still they're still calibrating everything with the cable. Mm-hmm. But I think in a year or so it'll be back up to speed. So yeah, not Stormrunner. No. So at least Fahrenheit and Skyrush. Um, and I apologize, guys. I'm talking a lot. Um, but I would say if I had to pick, this is hard. Um, but maybe Fahrenheit because Skyrush. Well, it is. It has so many issues. Like, it's a prototype. Like, mm-hmm. it's got so many issues. It's still praised amongst an enthusiast, and Hershey knows that. Yeah. Hershey knows how much we enthusiasts love Skyrush, and Hershey also knows that there's no possible way they can fit anything in that plot of land. Yeah, I I so, don't know if you ever saw um ever seen the B and M plans, or I think it was B and M the plans floating around for the hyper that was supposed to go there. It was supposed to be like a l-shaped layout and i think it was going to be like a mini hyper like uh superman at laronde or something like that yeah but, like it just it just didn't it doesn't work i don't know yeah i just i there's no way a b&m hype like honestly i would take skyrush any day over any b&m hyper like yeah. even the top tier like skyrush i'd take any day over mako or diamondback like mm-hmm. easily but yeah so fahrenheit obviously it's kind of been a maintenance nightmare yes the, the gp the gp love fahrenheit um, oh, yeah, yeah, but for sure. Also, that is the capacity is bad too, mm-hmm. and I think they could make up for the GP um, 
not liking Fahrenheit by adding a dive coaster in that general area. Now, am I saying I'd rather have a dive coaster? Absolutely not. I'd take Fahrenheit any day over a dive coaster, but still. The only yeah. coaster I think that would honestly... Well, Fahrenheit is an amazing plot of land. Um, and I think that Hershey Park knows that if like they re- took out Fahrenheit, they'd have to do something good. I, I honestly think yeah. that the only ride that could place replace it is a Gerslauer. Um, but yeah, like, that's fair. I think it's a too Gerslauer, similar. Yes, it's too similar, but it's also like I think of uh, Fahrenheit as Maverick without like the the launch and you know without like that's fair. Yeah, so like like Skyrish is like Maverick. Um, the Maverick parts that don't invert, and then Fahrenheit's like Maverick that has all the inversions and stuff. But like mm-hmm. a Gerslauer, and Storm is Runner's too like graceful. the launch. <laughs> yes, and yeah, and Gerslauer's I think the GP, graceful. even the GP would be like, why did they tear down? A vertical like, lift, compact sit-down looping coaster to add yet another vertical lift. Like I think Josie, somebody like like you who is a part of the general public. Look, this is why I like having you here, even though you you're not doing. Yeah, very it's much. great to have. <laughs> it, it's great because like yeah, you're not doing very my, much, but um, yeah, like, I mean that would be so confusing for people like you, especially when I feel like everybody would prefer Fahrenheit over any gear slot right. unless it's like a Cardin or something, which isn't gonna happen. I do have to get going fairly soon, but let's yes. chat about Skyrush. Yes. While we're here, because that's kind of the big that's the big that's the big yellow intimate we must talk about. It's been the topic the of conversation banana. ever since Wednesday when that video mm-hmm. or that yeah. video leaked of it started crawling. Thank you so much Dude, for that, taking that video. I wish that got more views because I you know I did the Skyrush mini series on shorts. Like uh, I wish right. I got a little more credit because I was about half an hour to 45 minutes before any other person uploaded no, any yeah. updates. And I was I was a little angry, but it's starting to pay off a yeah. little bit. Except I'm still, sorry. <laughs> no, no, happened. it's fine. And you honestly gave me a lot of growth. Like, in the last two days, I gained over 20 subscribers, hey. which is great. Yo, nice. But, um, yeah. It's funny because... By the way, if you're not already subscribed to Michael Barra, do so. Do yourself a yes. favor. You won't regret it. Thank awesome you. coaster content. That was that's the video that has the least amount of views out of those four short updates. Are you that's kidding the one me? I wanted to have the most views. Dude, that's like breaking rare. news. Yeah, like it has five hundred four views, which is fine and all, but all the other ones have like one point two seven hundred. Yeah, and like two point three two point three thousand views, and I'm like, that's great and all, but like I posted the Skyrush yeah. video in all of them, and I linked it in the description, but I'm like, nobody reads the description on shorts. Like, who, yeah, no, what are yeah, we no, no about? one. But it, no, it kind no, of literally made me a no one no one ever reads the description. Mm-hmm. Um like that's I don't spend as much time on the description as I probably should because I'm just like No See, one's gonna read this. I put I try and put every single thing in because I love the YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Like Coaster Josh, I don't know if you ever heard of him. Um, yeah, oh yeah, no, yeah, I watch Co- I watch Coaster Josh. Yeah. Everything in the description down to like the music he chooses. Sometimes the music he chooses and the segments nice. of the music he puts in, which is like great and I love that. Yeah. Um and this is like something I only do, but I hate how you can't go back and see how many subscribers you had. So at every yeah. video, the last thing I put in the description is subscribers at time of upload. That's good, actually. And yeah. I loved it. Like, that's the only way I'm able to see my actual growth. Because, like, screw the analytics. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. Like, YouTube <laughs> Studios is so flawed, no, in no, my opinion. You're good. Like, no, yeah, it, it is. It is so flawed, and it's so hard to get to on, mo- like, mobile sucks. I'm sorry. And, it like, does. I'm all, no, it I does. don't always have my PC with me. So, like, sometimes I, in the description, I put, like, u- user notes. And I don't know if anybody's actually ever read my description or, like, you know what I mean? Like, but that's the reason right. why. <laughs> So, on to the topic of Skyrush, unless you had anything else you wanted no. to say about that. Um, Monday, right. uh, Skyrush opened up late. Tuesday, broke down once or twice. Wednesday, cable lift malfunction halfway through the day at like 3. Right. Closed for the rest of the day with some test runs. Uh, Thursday, Skyrush was back open. I'm not exactly sure. I know it was hauling. I saw it from the chocolatier window. Didn't actually get any original footage. Um, and I'm right. working all this into my Skyrush script. I'm coming out with a video Wednesday of the in-depth, watch my entire full story of Skyrush. Um, and then uh, Friday, we all know what happened. Um, so yeah, let's let's talk about it a little bit. Josie, you and uh, my other cousin Katie were there. Uh, so what happened? <laughs> Well, I didn't see it. Like, I just yeah. saw them taking people off. But they had to, like, go in and, like, manually, like, un... 
lock every single person's restraint and like exactly. hook them to the yeah. side of the ride and like go down but the worst part was that it like started raining mm. so it was probably like <laughs> i wonder if anybody fell what did they get for that i would like, say they minimum get is a free ticket or a couple free oh, tickets. which would be pretty good yeah I, mean, I would say that um hey i'd fall from skyrush to get a free ticket oh no no i'm, I'm saying just like from getting evacuated from the ride but um hey i would i'd ride for the free ticket yeah. i mean I, i'd i'd do that but yeah but yeah all jokes aside that that is still not good that that happened mm -hmm. and let's just all be thankful that nobody was injured the thing that confuses me though and i you responded to the guy in my comment section uh when he said the cable lifted and snapped and i was like not trying to be like against you <laughs> But it like it, it had to break somewhere because mm -hmm. in pictures the cable is not in like uh like the the little trough the catch of, like, car the chain lift. right yeah the ca the, catch, the car. catch car yeah I think somehow the catch car unlatched the cable lift somewhat mm -hmm. fell through or is down in the little trough but the catch car that's what we think slammed yeah. into the station and it's still there because one of my friends uh he's also a big coaster enthusiast said the catch car is still in the station. And yeah, so here is my speculation. Yeah, yeah, you go. Um, no, no, you're good. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cut no, you no, off. No, and I mean, like, you... You, you made this video. You got this. I want to hear what you yeah. have to say because right. I didn't watch it. All right, I didn't sure. hear any of this. All right. So Hershey Addict actually uploaded a little bit ago saying, like, yeah, he's heard from people inside the Hershey Park community that it was not a cable snap, and it's confirmed it's not a cable snap. Hmm. So that leaves, like, two things the catch car or a sensor mm -hmm. and the I, most likely thing would be a, a catch car yeah I think right it no sensor. it's not a sensor no it's not um, a sensor, i sorry. didn't <laughs> no it's okay in my video i didn't go in depth with predicting what happened mm -hmm. because i was pretty much just like guys so we thought it was a cable snap it wasn't i don't want to feed i don't i don't want to feed the fire and put like i don't want to make things worse and speculate on what i think could have happened i'm just gonna lay off and say that it wasn't the cable snapping yeah so the most likely thing is the catch car mm -hmm. um it's probably a combination maybe of the catch car and the lift that's motor. what i think because um, riders in the station yeah. and operators said they heard two snaps then the slam right so the slam was obviously the catch yes, car. going back down to um, the station. And it could be, guys, for anyone listening to this podcast, we don't know this. We are speculating. Mm -hmm. Just you, you guys already know that. I'm just mm -hmm. saying that just like so we don't get in trouble if we're completely wrong or right or anyway. Um, but, yeah, so it was most likely the catch car. Um, that would explain the malfunction the other day. There could have been... Like a raw, like the alignment could have been off. There could have just been something with the catch car could have tripped a sensor. Now Wednesday, um, I do think that my prediction is the lift motor overheated. Now I don't yeah, have like no, any that... evidence to support that, but I do have to say that on Wednesday when we were at the park, when it when that did happen, it was about ninety eight degrees out and it felt like one hundred seven. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if you watched my Storm Runner shorts, but I was dripping and that was like mid morning, maybe yeah. eleven. 11 15 a.m so like i can attest to that no you actually do have proof for that because yes. um you do have i have been there on a day it's not been as hot as mm -hmm. 98 maybe i'd say low 90s mm -hmm. probably about three weeks ago something like that probably close to a month ago um i was on i was riding sky rush with a friend and we were on the uh break run and I have this tradition on Skyrush. I always staple myself on the brake run extra hard. I don't know why. <laughs> and that actually was not a good idea that day because we got stuck on the brake run for probably 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. I, that happened yeah. to me twice. I got stuck on Skyrush's mm -hmm. chain lift once, and I got stuck on the brake run twice. Right. But I have seen... I've, And then we were like, okay, what's the issue with Skyrush? Like, what's happening? Um, and then they tried to... they. They couldn't do anything. They were um, trying to realign the brake sensors because you could hear the brakes. You could hear the brake fins like shuffling. Yeah. Um, you could hear. You could hear that. Like you could. Um, they were trying to essentially like. I think they did. They actually did like roll us back a little bit like on the brake run because they, they were they were trying to like do something with the sensors. Um, so and then that wasn't working so they got everyone out of the station and then they tried to send a chain up the lift and it got stuck um, it got stuck right up on the lift 
Yeah. Uh, we did they roll did back into the station the, eventually, but the blocks yeah. Or yeah, roll it back. Um, but Skyros long story is, short, yeah. Let's go ahead. Finish. Up. No, it's all right. Long story short, it was because of the motor overheating, and a lot of um, like I've I think I heard either a ride op or like some other coaster enthusiast say like, man, these Intamins don't do well in hot weather or something like that. Oh, so sure. it is. Yeah. No, it's definitely. Intamins are not a fan of extreme temperatures. Yeah. They like anywhere from like 70 to 80. Like well, actually, I'd say 60, 60 to mid 80s, and then they're then they're, they're then they're done. They're they're done. Yeah. Michael, Scottish. did I tell you about how on What's oh, up? on Wednesday when you left, mm-hmm. did I tell you that Great Bear and Skyrush got stuck? Yeah, Great Bear nope. um, has been doing terrible this season. Like it's been unreliable. When actually. We were there. I was there maybe um, uh, maybe last week in May. Great Bear was getting evacuated. It was about three fourths of the way up the lift hill, and I mean, like people were like, huh. like full on evacuation too. Like they're trying to get it huh. done quick. And I got a I got a like a quick video of it. Uh, it'll be playing on screen now, but um, it's it's super interesting. Uh, and I think Friday, because, yeah. of, because of weather, but every ride was closed by the end of the day on Friday. Yeah, I saw that. I was checking track, out. Except for Laugh Track, which is And Cup Fusion. And but... uh, every Hershey Park ticket, um, all Hershey Park tickets have gone on sale for like 20%, and they say that it's like 20% or higher, and they say it's because of like 4th of July. Right. I, don't, I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's BS. <laughs> like, I think they know yeah, that their no, park they're... is like kind of going down the drain a little bit, and they need... Uh, to like start discounting yeah. tickets because I would not pay that much for that. I have to say, um, this has probably been one of the worst Hershey Park seasons on record. Yeah. Um, for me, okay, I'm gonna be honest. For me, I had I'm having a great season because a my favorite coaster in the park, my wife, the love of my life, mm-hmm. is open. Although it's not the best, um, I will say it's my favorite. The Accelerator is 110 mm-hmm. percent my favorite ride model. Thank you. Yeah. Um. <laughs> But no, yeah. So that's great, and this is the first, this is the first season, with me having my channel. Mm-hmm. So this is the first season I'm vlogging. This that is the sense. first season I'm meeting up with viewers. Mm-hmm. It's just a lot of fun. It's yeah, we new. Need to meet up sometime. Yeah, that'd be vlogs. awesome. We need to do this more. That would be yeah, that'd be awesome. It's been a lot of fun so far being yeah. on this podcast. Thank you oh, so much thanks. for having me, by the way. Yeah. Thanks it's for an honor being on. This. I know you have to go soon. Of so. course. <laughs> no, yeah, it's it's okay. No, yeah, it's I I wanted to um do it. It's a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and anytime you need anything, just let me know. On Instagram too. I didn't no, know, you're good. I didn't know what. No, I was you're doing. good. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're good. Sorry, I was eating an extra long dinner because no, you're um fine. I was I, I was eating like some. Rude. No, you're good. I was eating some veggie burger and it was really <laughs> bad. And I was trying to, I was trying to suffer through it. Um, but yeah. Anyway, anyway back on topic um yeah so this season has been great for me got to meet up with a lot of like people i've made a lot of new friends on youtube and it's, it's been great but park wise except for storm Hunter opening it's been pretty negative it's been it's been pretty it's been pretty bad it's and i'm not gonna lie like it's been bad um, as much as i don't and, say it like i kind of now don't have a desire to like go to hershey park as much because like when i do mm-hmm. go to the hollow I haven't been on Comet or Looper at all this year. Right. It's so, just, yeah. all right, let's go through, I'm going to go start, start to finish all of the issues Hershey Park, any Hershey Park coaster has had this year. Just so you guys, if you guys are watching and think that we're just kind of being nitpicky or no, no, maybe we're, we're not, it's, we're it's not. Kind of near nitpicky, let, I would say. let me just elaborate on all of the issues all the, the coasters have had. All right. So kicking it off, um, well, I mean, Candemonium was down a little bit early in the season. Um, yeah. And that's normal. It's fine. Storm Runners, now get ready. Here we go. Delay. And that was open past Memorial Day. I mean, yeah, that's not a big deal. It's been down for a year and a half. Like, we all, right. we couldn't get our hopes up, but it's, it's a little bit, a little bit downfall. Great Bear it, got, yeah. got evacuated. Right, Great Bear got evacuated. Fahrenheit's tire might have exploded. I think one of the drive so tires. Did, didn't you hear that? Yeah, he, he, he said it did. He said yeah. It did. I Fahrenheit's. Really that. Some fan was no, that, in the comments that yeah. it didn't happen, and I'm like, not saying well, I don't believe you, but like. But I don't believe you. Yeah, yeah no. 
so yeah, Fahrenheit has had its fair share of issues. The lift hill has been horrible this season. Mm. How many times has that thing gotten stuck? It's been shut it down was stuck half for of the season. Today, day of recording, right? Of July. Happy Fourth, guys. <laughs> yeah, Happy Fourth. Fahrenheit's down. Yeah. Yay! That's two intimens down. That's what uh, I say. Two, one step. Another forward, one two bites steps the dust. Back. Yeah, no, that should literally be the name of this podcast. Like, two one steps step, forward, two yeah. steps... Right, forward, what, two sorry, steps back. yeah. No, I need to... This needs to be big for me. I Like, I want this to... Like, I posted four Scottish forts, and they've been huge for me. I need to, like, some kind of, like, clickbait bullcrap, like, exposing Hershey Park new rides and Skyrush. Yeah. Movies. I don't know. <laughs> no, I I will... I might... I might... If you send me no, yeah, this... No, yeah, I'm sending um, you all the footage. Awesome. If you, yeah, if you send me this podcast and stuff... And I might even upload it on my channel. And obviously, if, if I don't, I'm going to give you a shout out anyway yeah. and say, go check out this video yeah. or whatever. And I'll be in, on but, your live tomorrow and we can do something. Yeah, that'll be awesome. I'm excited for the live. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited too. But yeah. yeah. Congrats again. Thank you. Um, but yeah, so that Fahrenheit, I'm just going to say, I'm not even going to go into all this stuff Fahrenheit's had to deal with. I'm just going to say Fahrenheit. Um, Looper was running one train ops for the longest time. Looper's Luckily, they're also back with Future. For the majority of the season so far i mean it, like it opened yeah. again but it's been closed has kissing tower reopened no kissing that was just exactly. what i was gonna say next kissing tower is still down darn because that stupid window oh is that yeah um, I heard that breaker's story. edge and white cap racer i've noticed from the app have been off and on mm -hmm. um they, they've just been back and forth breaker's like there have been days um has been i don't know if you saw this during like christmas candy lane and earlier this season in springtime in the park it was uh, completely taken down, and they rebuilt it all. I don't know if that was just to preserve huh. the winter, but um, I didn't get any footage I didn't of this see anything, that. But uh, I'm sure people can attest to that. By the way, it's not a coaster. Anyway. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it was. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, just, coaster just, Dash just actually that. went off on me in the comment sections. When Coaster and Dash and I, he doesn't, like, know this, but we are uh, at one point, like, competing for subscribers. And, of course, he has, like, 6,000 <laughs> now. But I didn't take YouTube right. seriously back then. He had, like, 169, and I had, like, 152. And we were making, uh -huh. like, coaster content. I think we knew we were getting under each other's skin. But he, I said, <laughs> uh, Breaker's Edge is my number eight. And he went off, like... Oh, no, I remember <laughs> that video. I yeah. think the first time I ever watched one of your videos is, like, all coasters at Hershey Park ranked. And you started off with, like, yeah, so I made some mistakes. mistakes and I put Breaker's Edge. Mistakes. And I'm like, I was like, what? Yep. But that, that was, was more right. GP, not as matured a coaster enthusiast. You're Michael. good. <laughs> yeah. Well, Lightning, oh, Lightning Racer was running one side for the longest time. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and Comet, the weren't even built. So it was running Comet one has, trains, one side. Right. Comet has been, I'm just going to say, Comet, happy 75th. Comet has been flawless. There's been Comet. nothing wrong with Comet. Comet has been smoother this season. Comet has been more enjoyable this season. Comet, Comet is perfect. Yeah, it's there was perfect one this time season. Where I would put Comet over Phoenix proudly, but I don't do that anymore. But there was one time right. where, like, Comet was my jam. Yeah, Comet is a good vibe. Mm -hmm. Um, but um, I think that's all of the major. Well, obviously, okay. I forgot to mention Skyrush. Yeah, Skyrush's whole issue here. Um, that's a huge one. Uh. Yeah, I think that's about all we have for issues. But, like, you guys can see how extensive this list was. Like, yeah. And many of these coasters, it wasn't just one issue. It was multiple mm -hmm. issues. I mean, and Skyrush here... in the past five years had, like, structural issues. and um, Stru Right, they had to. Lift. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when Skyrush was closed in 2019 for a long time yes. just due to the footers. Yeah. Um, but... Oh, yeah. Skyrush Path was closed. I know everybody was angry about that for the longest time. That, yeah, no, so I just, I was, open, but that'll probably be no, I was again. down there. Oh, no, oh, no, think that'd about be horrible. If they have to reinstall the cable, that's going to be closed again. Well, I mean, if it's a new, if they're getting a new, we don't know if they're getting think, a new cable. I think no matter what, we all, we all know it's going to come, that the time where Skyrush Prob Path probably. is going to be closed again. The thing is, oh. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not excited, but I'm interested to see if they're going to improve Skyrush, because this would be a very good time, good time to do to that, do like, uh, reprogram. Will Skyrush get new mm -hmm. trains right. or something, you know what I mean? Comment like, or, down below, will like, Skyrush receive new trains? Will Skyrush Comment below. receive new trains? Will Skyrush become a chain lift coaster instead of a cable <laughs> lift? Like, you know what I mean? Will like, Skyrush's restraints be... Yeah, they... could Skyrush's restraints change? Yeah. 
from will hydraulics the to Intamin ratchets? Or will it be the new right. Intamin, new uh, generation Intamin trains? Will they keep the wing? Will they keep the wing trains? They will they back left is awesome comment down chair. below? Yeah. So, um, I think that's all I have to say so far for the stream yeah. or not stream we podcast. Can do another or... one of these later this week if we really need. That'd to. That'd be great. Yeah. No, updates. guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, <laughs> if you're not already subscribed to Michael Barra, he's and awesome. Subscribe to Hershey Park enthusiast. Thank you, sir. Yeah, man. Um, I I'm so happy you did this. I'm so happy. Yeah, no, yeah, me too. Out. It was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, we should definitely, um, whenever yeah, you want to do this again, just let me know. Yeah, we no, we do, yeah. And meet up more. That would be awesome. Yeah, I'd love to have you in a couple vlogs if you want. Oh, yeah. That'd be fun. Anyway, that's all I have. If we need to do this again, yeah. sure we can. Sorry, that'd Jersey, be a lot of fun. a total of, like, maybe 30 words. <laughs> Thank you right. for joining the podcast. This is definitely yeah, no problem. You. Alrighty, I'll link your. Okay. Like, All right, I'll link everybody's Instagrams. But yeah, so go go subscribe to Michael Barra. Um, awesome content. Uh, thank you so much for having me on, man. Uh, yeah, it was a pleasure. Right anytime. You. Thank Dude, you. Anytime you want to collab, you're hitting let me know. a thousand by the end of the summer. I'm yeah. telling you, I'm, I'm I, excited. For I'm you. hoping. I am hope, dude. I'm, I'm excited my... too. I'll send you off. Actually, thank you guys yeah, so yeah. much for having me on. I, I'll send. I'll send you off with Hershey Park Happy. Cause why not? Why not? Hirsch Park happy, Hirsch Park land. So many things to see and do, good times to be had. So many things to see and do, Hershey Park. That didn't go well. That was beautiful. All right. I know. Thanks. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. See well, you, thank you guys so much for having me on. I will catch you in the next one. Uh, always stay Hirsch Park happy. Alrighty. Wait, wait, what? On Stormrunner. Yeah, yeah, what? Okay, they like don't launch it fully up the hill. And for the workers. And... For the so, workers. Yes. And then it goes, yes. And then they go back. They don't launch the car fully, so Stormrunner gets a rollback. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. From what I know. Stormrunner running records has only ever gotten two rollbacks, and I might be wrong. That's called no, a rollback. No, like, like they can yes, do yes, that. Yes, I know they purposely do that, but like when they're not trying it, I know Stormrunner, I think, has only gotten like two rollbacks that have ever been got, caught on camera. That's that like that's very rare. That would be awesome. I've always wanted Stormrunner to get a rollback. That's crazy. Yeah. That would be cool. And then they get like launched. Do you get launched again? Yeah. And then it doesn't make Double it launch. Double launch. Double launch. I'm, I'm glad I'm still recording. Wow. Why? Because, like, I didn't, I didn't think anybody would, like, ever say that. That's okay.